Welcome back to round two of Splat a Lot. I'm Jason Agnew, and with me is Matt Chin. I can't believe you sent him away. It was for the best. And speaking of the best, these six attackers posted the best times on the Merciless Moat in round one. They'll now use their unique talents to try to escape the stockade. I love the stockade. The defenders have the high ground, and they get to hurl foam and heavy words down from above. Heavy words? Yeah, like manstrom. Use it in a sentence. It's a total manstrom down there. No. To escape the stockade, attackers must first release themselves from the Wheel of Certain Doom. They then grab mixed match rungs to build their ladders. All under heavy fire from above. With their ladders complete, they'll try to take one of four flags from the top of the wheel to the top of the wall to earn a spot in the finals. More like a splat in the finals. Oh, you just got manstrom. Just introduce the defenders. Lisa! The antagonizing archer. I am Crockness. The swamp dress. And the blue ninja. Jaden. You think you're worthy? Let's see what you've got. The lethal ladies are manning the catwalk. That's Nathan in navy. Tressa in light blue. Tamara in orange. Carly with the orange stripe. Kyle in green, and John in light purple. The attackers can't be feeling good about their situation. They can't feel good about Croc on that brother. Belista's on the cannon, and Shaden's on the slime. And here we go! You don't want to mess with the ladies in the castle. And Shaden shows Tressa why. Oh, there's no need to be scared, just a little concerned. Croc's really frothing it up out there. Here comes Car Car! Oh, and Kyle gets crushed! That turkey just got clubbed! Tamara's got a rung, but she can't hang on! Oh, the annihilating arm annihilated her arm! The arms toss both John and Tressa! But John gets a rung in! Belista's blasting! And Kyle is. flabbergasting? Goo grenade! Oh, yeah. But she missed! So did Kyle and Nathan. Hey, attackers! Get this! Why did the chicken cross the road? To get a splat! Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? It's funny! The chicken and, and the. Oh. Why did the cricket cross the moat? I don't know. To get tickets to Shaden's comedy show! <laughs> Back to the action, attackers are all over the place. And so is the foe. John grabs another rung. And Shade and Slime's karate champ, Tressa. Oh, John's got his last rung in place. And Kyle's got some foam on his face. John grabs the first flag, makes his way down, is climbing the ladder. Yeah! And John is through to the finals. Oh, Kyle is not taking that news well. Neither is Tamara. Three flags left as Carly and Tressa lock in rungs. Nathan's white as a ghost. <laughs> or was. Say hello to my water cannon. Hi, Felista's water cannon. Bye, Tamara. Nathan with a nice move, and he's got the second flag. He deserves a pat on the back and some foam to the face. Open wide. Someone's got to eat all that slime. But it's not enough to stop Nathan from reaching the finals. Yeah. Now Tressa's on top of the wheel, and she snags the third flag. It looks like Tressa's into the finals as well. Wait a In your face, Chuck Norris. One flag left. Who wants it the most? Oh, Carly seems to want it. Sort of. Oh, Kyle gets absolutely manstrung. Still not a word. Try telling that to Kyle. Three attackers are fighting for the final flag. Kyle goes down, and Tamara has got it. She's climbing the ladder, and Tamara has made it to the finals. Just like that, the stockade is over. Beep, beep, car, car. Gobble, gobble, Kyle. So after a splat-filled stockade, our four finalists are Tamara, Tressa, Nathan, and John. 
When we return, they go for the crown. Or drown trying. Right here on Splatalot. Welcome back to the Capture the Crown round on Splatalot. I'm Jason Agnew. And I'm Matt Chin. Today's four lucky finalists are Tamara, Tressa, Nathan, and John. They're so close to the crown they can almost taste it. But victory is only on the menu for one of these attackers, and the other three will be chowing down on cold, hard defeat. Served by the kitchen staff of Sorrow, the Defenders. And it's the final round, so all six get their fingers in the mix. The table has been set, so let's take a look at the course. Attackers must pole drop into the funky foam, tackle the titanic teeters, avoid the defender's artillery, cross the barrier and the lily pads, then scale the water wall to claim the crown of Splatalot. They're festive, Jay. That can't be good. That's Tamara in orange, Tressa in teal, Nathan in navy, and John in purple. And here we go. The attackers hit the foam. John gets a wet welcome, and Tressa too. John's first on his teeter, and Nathan's not far behind. Oh, and down goes John. He may have beaten the axis, but the teeter taught him. Here comes the Blue Ninja, and Shade and Shower takes down Tamara. Then she sets her sights on Tressa. Oh! It's raining attackers out there. Hey, attacker! Look, I realize you may have gotten by the Ninja, but that's not a difficult task to achieve. Just shoot him. Now you're head on with the real defender. Just shoot him. Thank you. Hey, a rainbow. They're after me gold, Jay. All of me gold. What are you talking about? Nothing. And the rainbow shoves Tamara. They're such bullies. John is back on the barrier. Ballista's ready for him. Oh, she takes down Nathan instead. And John is able to advance onto the lily pads. Adios, la spada. He's been taking Spanish. Scab is like a unicorn. Rare and nice. That's also how he cooks his unicorn. Right, Tamara? It's not a crime to slide. <laughs> but I think that was. How about mesh shirts? Is that a crime? Tresses across the teeter and onto the barrier. <laughs> the defenders are trying to hold John back. Tressa needs to get both feet up on that barrier. John's struggling. Tressa's up and prepares to leap. Chuck Norris style. But she can't stay on. John jumps for the water wall. Can he keep both elbows on? Yes! Watch this, Albert. Albert? Tressa gets tagged. John gets closer. Nathan gets wetter. But John is better because it looks like it's all over and it is. John's got the crown. I'll hail the new king of Splatalot. Sorry, Nathan. Best two out of three? I am the king of Splatalot! Yeah! And with a dominant display, John makes good on his promise to bench press the castle. And now it's time for the splat of the day. <laughs> Today's splat comes courtesy of Kyle. A trip on the mace and he'll give up this race. Cold turkey. Oh, yes. Now let's take a look back at John's journey to the crown. But pressure from the start, John excelled his way through the boat. He survived the stockade. Yeah. And found his footing in the castle as he slammed and jammed his way to the crown. What? Oh, Gildar! Relax. Just came by to plug my new book. Shoved by a rainbow, a Viking struggle for acceptance in the splat-proof shack. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. It's dedicated to Matt and Jesse. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Chapter one. I was always the handsomest Viking in my class. All right, let's just go to the winner. I told you guys I could bench press this castle! 
Chapter 2, My Hair. I'm the king of the cat.